She's not right. Yeah, we got that the first time, Echo. She doesn't mean Madeline. Only that it took that long. <laughs> I was sure the moment I laid eyes on him. I couldn't let her get away. She's perfect. It's like they made her just for me. Basically, this season is about Echo's development and Echo becoming self-aware and, you know, really, really showing the audience how she's, you know, remembering and absorbing things from all of her engagements and becoming her own her own person and a sum of all the parts of the, of the people that she's imprinted to be. When we first started the show, everyone was asking, are you going to have people from the Whedon universe? And this year, we just decided we wanted to bring in all the people that we know can bring their A game and get the job done and we, that we enjoy and have fun with. And so we've had amazing guest stars. Anyone in this much pain prays or these curses, but you take God from you, too. You really are a shell. Summer Glau, of course, was in... Um, Serenity and Firefly with Joss. So she's she enters the scene and she's a programmer and we have some history together and she's a she's a naughty little she's a naughty, naughty little minx. <laughs> Just pain. Over and over. No reason, no no end, no in between. You can't even pass out. Summer plays the programmer of the of the DC dollhouse, and we find out that the Rossum Corporation is much bigger than just the LA dollhouse. So it's an, actually a worldwide, um, you know, underground organization. So she basically plays the the Topher of the of the DC dollhouse. I shut down everything that stands between you and blinding, searing pain. Two actives cross. I end up over in, in their facility, and then sort of it's about bringing me back and, and the, two, the two houses sort of clashing heads. We have Keith Carradine, Michael Hogan. We had Jamie Bamber in the first episode. A lot of Battlestar people. Joss is a giant Battlestar fan. When we get to the why, that's when it gets really bad. <laughs> 